instant, a one sixty-fourth of a second, boom. Just like that, everybody who's trusted in Christ as Savior will be caught up together to be with Him in the clouds. If there's only 50 million, they'll suddenly vanish from this earth, off of elevators, off of escalators, out of offices, and out of cars, on freeways, and crashes, and out of airplanes. The world would be terrorized. The rapture makes me have to focus, because I may meet my maker tomorrow. You know, there's going to be a last battle. Israel is going to be attacked from the north, from the west, from the east. Jerusalem will become a place of horror for the nations. I mean, it will be a horrible time uh, for the Jews because the anvil on which the, the human race seems to be crushed is Israel. And then you head south, I believe, to Jerusalem. And I think that's where the battle occurs, not here at Armageddon. A real quick word of prayer before anybody comes up, we can have an international incident, okay? Yes. Lord, we do thank you for uh, your grace, your goodness that you care about. There's no place for that mosque. It has to be removed. These are pictures that are inside the Alaska Mosque. You can dicker with them. <laughs> when people think that they have to possess a place to possess the truth, that turns that spot into the blasting cap of religious conflict. I kept hoping one of the Saddam's missiles would find its way over to the dome. Run, Shiites are uh, for me much more dangerous than those uh, Texan uh, evangelicals. But together, they may look into something really destructive. They hate us because it's their religious duty to hate us. They hate us because radical Islam is a doctrine of death. Armageddon theology, this interest in war, seems to have an almost addictive power. The war in Iraq is a good thing for, for Christians. The prophetic signs, uh, they're increasing, just like the birth contractions of a woman. World War III has started. 